Okay, so at this point, I've got some different kinds of things in here, I believe, that aren't necessarily proofs, but I'd have to show what I'm doing. So this says, here's two points of, a, of one of the diagonals. Find other two corners of the square. So with anything like this, I'm just going to draw a picture and start looking at it and see what the heck I can figure out. All right, so I've got 2, 2, 2, 2, and I've got 8, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right, so I've got K, I've got S. It says that's one part, there's one diagonal of the square. So that means there's a point up here, there's a point down here, someplace in there to make a square. All right, my circles probably are not perfect, but they're in those general areas. So I start thinking about this diagonal. All right, so here's my diagonal. K, S, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's four and six, so four over six. So my other diagonal, does it give me letters? It doesn't give me letters. Oh, it's not even KS, it's KM. How do I do that? K, M. Doesn't give me letters, so let's just pick them. Let's call this one up here A, let's call this one down here B. So A, B, what do I know about it? Well, this it's perpendicular, okay? And it has to have the exact same length. So it's going to be a six and a four like that. So at least I know the slope, but I don't really know where it goes through. But, all right, so let's actually, let's not do this the wrong way. Let's do this the right way. Diagonals are perpendicular and equal. All right, but the other thing is they bisect each other. That means that I know that the other diagonal has to go through the midpoint of this. So if I divide these by two, I get two, one, two, three. All right, so I know that it has to go through that point. All right, so I'm gonna put that down. Must go through. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Okay, so it's gotta go through five, four. So it goes something like this, something like that. Okay, I'm gonna erase that, but it goes through something like that. All right, so now I think about, well, how the heck would I do this, okay? Now, the other issue is this also has to be the midpoint. All right, it's got to be its midpoint. So that means that when I go and do this here, it has to be, do half of this in each direction. So it means the slope has to be down three right two from that spot right there. One, two, three, one, two. One of the endpoints is right there. Now I can't go down three, right, two again. I got to go the opposite way. So the opposite of down three is one, two, three up. And the opposite of right two is left two right there. And if I look at this, that's going to give me a nice looking square there. All right, and the two missing points here were A, which is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 3, 7, and B, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1. All right, now that's probably a little harder than anything you're going to see on an assessment or a regents exam, but it's not really that complex because I'm just taking the properties that I would get from proving it's a square and using them in reverse to find out where the square points would be. So it's a good problem to look at if you're really finding this stuff pretty easy uh, and help yourself kind of really start thinking about these at a different level.